When naming simple organic compounds, it's very important to get their names exactly correct. Each part of the name of an organic compound tells you something important about that molecule. And for IGCSE, the names of the compounds will consist of a prefix and a suffix. The prefix is in common with all of the functional groups and all of the homologous series. And it's very simply tells you the number of carbons that are present in the hydrocarbon chain. And in chemistry, if you have one carbon, your prefix is meth or meth, two is eth or eth, three prop, four but, five is pent, six is hex, seven is hept, eight is oct. Now some of these are exactly the same as you may have learned in maths class. For example, octagons or hexagons. Some might be new to you, methane, ethane, for example. You may recognize some of these, for example, propane is the gas that is present in bottled gas, methane is natural gas. So the first thing you do is you look at the prefix and that will tell you the number of carbons that are present. The next thing you need to look at is the second part of the name. That gives you information on the type of organic molecule that it is. AIN tells you that the functional group is a saturated hydrocarbon. These are the alkanes. That means that they consist of only hydrogen and carbon and they contain only single bonds. Ene tells you that it is an unsaturated hydrocarbon. Now unsaturated means that it contains one or more carbon, carbon double bond. The anol suffix tells you that it belongs to the alcohol group. The alcohols have the functional group OH. So that tells you that your compound contains the O and H functional group. Anoic acid tells you that you are in looking at the carboxylic acid family. which contains the functional group C with a double bond O, O, H. So as an example, if you saw the name hexene, you would look at your number of carbons. Hex tells you there are six carbons. Ene tells you that there is a double bond present. Don't forget, every hydrogen can make one bond. Every carbon can make four covalent bonds. So check your bonds. Make sure you've got the right number. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Due to the nature of organic molecules, sometimes they can be arranged in several different ways, uh, which is something called an isomer. Uh, so there are often other parts of the name, and we will look at that next lesson.